had an inkling, and by God, I was spot on. The reserve, it's out there. It exists. This journal I found proves it. Still, so much work to be done. Stones have got to be overturned. Waterfall. What'd you just say? Waterfall. That's not possible. Who is this? Who are you? Nope. Not falling for that. You alone? I'm alone. That's a lie. Actually, it's the truth. No one here but me. You have my word. Your word doesn't mean shit to me. Not yet. Fuck you. Getting testy? Good. Now we're getting somewhere. If you're straight with me, our conversation continues. And believe me, I'm someone you want on your side. I... I know things. Things you're not gonna get from any other source. I, I, I need to know, though, that you're above board. We, we both want answers, but... Mine come first. Okay. I believe you're alone. And I'm pretty sure I know who you are. What I'm most curious about is how you found this station and why you said waterfall. I came across a journal. Belonged to a soldier. This frequency, Waterfall, New Orleans, written in it. Does anyone else know about it? Just me. Good. Let's keep it that way. Okay. I got what I need for now. I know you're telling the truth. Just remember, I've got ears everywhere. I hear it all, from every angle, okay? Nothing gets past me. I get it. Your turn. Keep it brief. I, I got shit to do. You know what to call me, but I don't know what to call you. You got a name? I'm not telling you my name, okay? So don't ask anymore. Okay, calm down. We're just chatting. Mind if I ask where you're from? A long way from here, but Nola's where I wanted to be assigned, so... <laughs> Fuck, look, enough about me already. The Reserve. What do you know about it? I've heard of it. You've probably heard more than most. How about sharing some knowledge? How would I know more than anyone else? You mentioned your ears were everywhere. You heard of me before I even set foot in Nola. Seems like someone so informed would know a bit more than the average schmuck when it comes to the thing everyone is talking about, right? Not necessarily. Not too friendly, are we? All right. I'll drop it for now. I came to Nola to meet up with an old-timer named Henri. Speaking to you through his radio. He wound up dead. Along with a bunch of other folks. No, look, I don't know anything about a dead old man. The old man had a name, and it was Henri. And it seems like Henri was trying to track you down. There must have been a reason, right? I'm telling you, I don't know anything about what's going on up there. There's no reason to track me down. What do you mean by up there? If you're not up here with the rest of us, where are you? That's, uh, that's classified. You don't have clearance. In, in fact, I don't even know why I'm talking to you right now. What the fuck was
was that? They coming for you? Shit. There's something going on over here. Hold on just a minute. Fuck shit. No, I should never have. No, no. No, this ends now. Right fucking now.
Omri, I found two more exiles wandering around the Northwest Corridor today. Was able to get them to safety, get them supplies for a few days. They said it's getting ruthless on the other side of the tower wall. More people exiled every week. We are making a difference out here. But if this pace keeps up, I just don't know. We're going to need more help. More intel to stay one step ahead of the bastards. The mud-slinging posters with my face plastered on them are not helping the situation. Ambra rips them down whenever she sees one, but they are everywhere, as I'm sure you've noticed. I know you want to simplify our system for the tower cash rate, but I need to keep the shadows. The Sinclair casket and the lantern is working, so we might as well stick with it. Lantern on when there's something for you, off when there's something for me. This way, I can keep my distance. See what's up until I know it's clear. As usual, our resident Picasso has provided a sketch to guide you to the next tower cache. I know I'm biased, but the kid's got ability, right? Maybe you can sit for a portrait one day. Ambra would love that. Same deal with the cash. Supplies are yours. The intel you drop off to me. Be safe. Now. Out for a stroll. Find somewhere else Quit to be. Quit poking around.
too long. It's wise That's the to tourist? be wandering around. Doesn't look so tough. Get around. Nothing better to do? Get the fuck out of here! After all you've done? Gonna find you eventually. Where'd like you a go? fucking mosquito that just won't die! Oh.
If you're there, please answer. I've got a situation. Please. I can hear you. What is it? Yeah, I, I got spooked the other day. The crash rattled me. I'm sorry. It's just... I don't know who to trust. There's not many decent options out there, but... I'm getting desperate, so... Um, I, I need to take a chance. Uh, on you. W what do you think? Can, um, can you help me out? Please? You've got my attention. I've been hearing things from the tower radio chatter. 
They found something, and I need it. Bad. Problem is, I have no way to get my hands on it without help, w without you. Now, I'm willing to give up what I know about the reserve in exchange. Does that sound fair? What do you need? A pump flow regulator. A tower patrol founded by Memorial Lane in the Garden District. Well, it's just another useless piece of junk to them. The problem is there's a potential showdown brewing over there between the patrol and a reclaimed camp. It could get bloody, quickly. What else? I'd like to be fully informed before putting my ass on the line. Fair enough. What do you want to know? What's the area like? The Garden District was one of the wealthiest areas of the city, so, you know, no surprise, it avoided most of the flood damage. The folks hit hardest by the flood picked it as a spot for a memorial to victims. And two weeks later, when the dead started walking, the whole city was a damn memorial. Why are they fighting? Uh, you know, resources, territory, two opposed ways of thinking, butting heads. I mean, from everything I've been hearing on the radio the last couple of months, the bad blood just keeps getting worse. Look, I'm staying out of it, but I, I can feed you more details if you want. How do they operate? What do they believe in? The tower is disciplined and committed to community. Everyone has to contribute to the cause. They must be doing something right. I've heard they have close to a thousand people inside their walls. Tower folks are fiercely loyal to their way of life. Maybe even to a fault. A bunch of loose cannons in the reclaimed. It's hard to know what they're up to most of the time. The tactics are all about surprise and intimidation. Guerrilla warfare mentality. And they love creeping the tower people out. Weird rituals and stuff. They seem less interested in control and more into sending a message. What's your take on all this? If the fighting keeps up, the city's gonna explode into an all-out war. The tower maintains some sort of order, right? I mean, they, they offer some sort of semblance of safety, sure, but they don't hesitate to toss people out if they question authority. Once the tower kicks your ass out, there's no return. It seems cruel, but... I don't know. Maybe that's the way it has to be. The reclaimed are... eccentric. L let's put it that way. But JB really knows how to motivate, uh, get, get people to buy into his vision. Maybe they're crazy, maybe they're onto something, I, I don't know, who knows. They are inspired, though. Always going on about the liberation to live, not just blindly following orders to barely survive. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe they're both a bit fucked in the head. Who's running the show for each faction? Mama leads the tower. She founded the community. I don't know much else about her, she stays out of sight. Her right hand, her enforcer, is Georgia. Now, she's out there on the front lines daily. And from what I hear, she's a hard ass. Not afraid to mix it up, get her hands dirty, you know? The reclaimed rally around this guy named JB. And no clue what it stands for. He's always proselytizing over the airwaves. Uh, frequency 54, denouncing the tower saying they're already dead. I mean, it freaks me out a bit, but there's no denying he has charisma. I've heard enough info on the conflict. Okay. Uh, sorry. I, I know I can ramble sometimes. I'm ready to do this. The pump regulator is a piece of industrial equipment about the size of a coffee maker. Uh, pipes, switches, knobs. You'll know it when you see it. Now, the Tower Patrol has it at their camp, Red House on Memorial Lane. And remember, Reclaimed are nearby, so you might get caught in the middle of a scrap between them. Now, once you have it in hand, hustle back to the radio and contact me. Time is not on my side. If you pull this off, I'll spill everything I know about the reserve. You have my word. I know Omri is dead, and I know that for the time being you've stepped into his shoes, whoever you are. I am not in the habit of trusting people these days. Trust gets you dead when it's given to the wrong person, and there is a lot of wrong out there. 
But I am willing to set prejudice aside for a few moments so we can have a little chat. See if we can work together. I'm assuming you scored a few useful things out of that last tower cache. Well, there's more where that came from. As long as nothing happens to me. Understood? Get yourself to the churchyard. I will unlock the gate so you can reach the area. Stay out in the open. If I am satisfied you are alone, you will see me. Don't get used to meeting like this. It's a rarity. I understand. It's almost impossible to know who to trust. All right, then we're on the same page. I'll get to the point. Why are you helping me? Henri trusted you, so that's good enough for me. Were you two friends? I guess you could say we were new friends, sure. I saved his ass from a slew of walkers in the bayou. And I liked talking to the guy. He had a way about him. He sure did. My daughter was fond of him. Loved the way he could spin a tail. Well, may he rest in peace. You got some curmudgeonly shoes to fill. I'll point you to tower caches with useful supplies. And you get me the intel they contain. Sound like a deal? Maybe. But I have a question first. The tower seems to be after you and your daughter hardcore. What's that all about? You spotted those posters, huh? You want to go there? All right, I'll give you the basics. I used to be with the tower. Now I'm not. We don't see eye to eye. I'm in the right. They are in the wrong. That's all I got for you now. Yeah. I'm on board. Good. Glad that's settled. Take this drawing. There's some intel at the location in the drawing. When you have it, leave it for me at the usual spot. Consider it done.
No one gets inside. Strict <sighs> orders. You have a problem with that? See Jeff. He's around the corner. Yeah. You find somewhere else to be. Those reclaimed shits camped across the street and nabbed his dumbass brother. Wouldn't be surprised to see Anthony missing his ends. Get the hell out! You got nerve rolling in here uninvited. Don't mean to intrude. We don't need strays poking around right now. We have enough problems to deal with. Maybe I'm the solution. You know what? Yeah, you might prove useful. My brother is in some deep shit. Pack of reclaimed scum snatched him. Anthony's a good kid. Bit dim, but he doesn't deserve whatever those freaks have in store. We can't get anywhere near where they're holed up. Light blue house across the way. They'll gut him immediately if they see us coming. But you? They don't know you. You'll be able to stroll right in. After that, whatever you need to do, that's your business. Personally, I'd put a few bullets through their skulls. Let the dirt reclaim them. How did he get caught? Like I said, he's stupid. Cocky too, not a good combination. I keep telling him he needs to toe the line. The Tower Brass doesn't appreciate recklessness. Maybe this whole situation will teach him a hard lesson. Sounds like I can be of service. Get to it then. Knowing how those savages operate? What was he thinking? These are people who have chosen to be savages, not rational people. Not people who understand and appreciate what the Tower is. gets inside strict orders you have a problem with that see Jeff he's around the corner to snap thinking about the torture and pain he has coming his way. You can whine all day and all night. It ain't gonna change a goddamn thing.
tonight. It ain't gonna change a goddamn thing. Who the hell are you? The negotiator? A big tough Jeff, too chicken shit to show his face and beg for his little brother's life? Not sure I really see the point. I guess I'm here to negotiate a deal for Anthony's release. Release? That's some kind of joke. That motherfucker isn't going anywhere but in the dirt, where maggots belong. What did he do? This subhuman shit is a murderer. My daughter is dead. The tower is at fault, and he is at fault. The tower preaches community, and yet they toss out those most in need because they are no longer useful, because they are a burden. Violet was not a burden. She was a human being, but this fucker treated her like trash. He could have disobeyed orders, but he did not. He forced her out, left her to die. She was 11 years old. Where is your head at, stranger? Exterminate this tower fuck right now, and we won't have a problem. Then we can pay the rest of the vermin a visit. And once they are a pile of corpses, whatever is in their camp, it's yours. Consider it a gift from the reclaimed. He doesn't have to die. You can be merciful. Where was the mercy for Violet, huh? You're fucked in the head, just like the rest of them. Get out of my face before I tear yours off. I followed orders. That's all I'm guilty of, please. It wasn't my decision. If I didn't do it, someone else would have. There was no preventing her exile. What's with the hesitation? Quit thinking. I am and sorry. Do the fucking deed. Please. What I did was horrible, I admit it, but please, you don't have to do this. What's with the hesitation? You gotta- I tried to make things right. Oh. I tried. No one gets inside, Things right. God. Please, you don't have to do this. Who's 
there. I was skeptical, but you pulled it off. I didn't think I was ever gonna see my little bro again. You have my thanks. Anything you can scrounge up in that house is yours, as promised. No hassle from us. You did a good thing today. Out for a stroll? You've given me a second chance. Thank you. I promise to make the most of it. Someone's close. Hey, big brother. There's not much to say beyond I'm sorry, but I have to do this. I can't sleep. I can't eat. I'm a wreck, Jeff. I keep seeing that little girl's face. These visions of her turning. This whole mess is fucking with my head. What did the Martins do to deserve being exiled? It makes no sense. They are good people. Now, I know this might put you in a tough spot. Please forgive me, but I need to make things right. At least give them a slim chance to survive out there. I swiped some supplies from our camp, so you know who to blame. Don't want any other innocent people taking heat. I'm going out to find the Martins and deliver the stuff. Least I can do. I pray it'll help me get my head straight. If I'm not back before it bells, wish me luck. Little bro, Anthony. You there, Casey? Come in. Yeah, yeah, I I'm here. Wow, <laughs> you're back. Did you get it? 
Had to deal with some shit. But I got what you needed. I delivered. Now it's... This is great! Finally, some progress. It's a relief. Okay, uh, let me find the manual for that thing, and we can get it calibrated. Spill what you know about the reserve right now. Or I may have to misplace this contraption. Uh, okay, jeez, you're right. I owe you. No need for threats. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what I know. The reserve is real. But you already knew that, right? What you don't know is that I am in it. It's an old military bunker built in the 50s or 60s. Right after the flood, the National Guard used it as a staging area to distribute disaster relief supplies. But once the dead started walking and things really went to shit, I had no choice but to get inside and hunker down. I thought I was safe for a little while, but now I'm fucked. The flood water up top was too much for the reserve's pump system. It, it malfunctioned, and now the whole place is on lockdown. I'm stuck in the comm room. I I'm running out of time. I need to get out of here. Soon. God, I can't wait to see the sky again. I've been working with someone named May. She claims to have a key to the reserve. You know anything about this? If your May is May Benoit, then yeah, yeah, I've heard of her. Tower is always tossing her name around on the airwaves. They're really after her ass. Consider her a major threat. I don't know anything about a key to the reserve, though. I'll do some research. If I discover anything, I I'll let you know. You were the only one to make it inside? Well, no. There were others, but they didn't stay. Um, they had to leave. If the bunker was safe, why did they leave? Like I said, they left. They had to take care of something, okay? Nothing else to say about it. Rumors are all over the place. What exactly is inside the reserve? Most of the rumors are true. Food, meds, tons of it. I mean, the entire hall was meant to help tens of thousands of people in the area after the flood. And there's a bunch of guns, ammo, and gear for the troops that were meant to distribute it. All military-grade, perfect condition. Problem is, I can't get to any of it. The whole bunker is locked down because of the floodwaters. What's the rush to get out of there? Starvation, for one. I might have a couple weeks left of scraps down here. But none of that is gonna matter if the flood water sitting on top of this place breaks through. The comm room is filling up slowly right now, but it's only a matter of time before the ceiling collapses. Starvation, crushed or drowned. Pick your poison, right? If you get crushed, at least it would be quick, right? Yeah, well, well, with your help, I'm hoping to avoid all of it. Fuck, I'd rather take my chances on the surface with a hundred walkers coming at me. At least I'd have a fighting chance. Look, tourist, I'm not asking you to do this out of the kindness of your heart. I mean, there's clearly something in it for you, uh, uh, big time. If the pumps get repaired, not only will I get out, but the supply rooms will all open up. All those disaster relief supplies, untouched. Not to mention enough weaponry and gear to arm multiple platoons. All for you to do with as you please. And for me? A fresh start and some fresh fucking air. Why do you need me to get you out? Plenty of people are looking for the reserve. Why not get one of these groups to help you? Well, my gut tells me that you're my best bet. The Tower and the Reclaimed are both after the Reserve, sure. Obsessed with it, you might say. They believe it will shift all the power in Nola. But I don't trust them. They're too absorbed by their agendas. You're unaligned. On your own. Like me. And hey, we may as well help each other. Right? I'm willing to take the risk. Oh, fantastic. You won't regret it. But it's been a long night, but I'm too wired to sleep. I'm gonna turn this place upside down until I find the manual. You should get some rest, though. I'll contact you in the morning. Good night, tourist.
it's Casey. Are you there? Yeah. Glad to hear your voice. Ready to get started? Ready as I'll ever be. Okay, good. So, I found the manual for the pump flow regulator. It looks like we need to calibrate it before it can be installed. Each of the pumps has different flow requirements, and that component tells the rest of the system where to route the water. We should be able to figure this out. I like that attitude. Okay, on the device, you should see a serial number. Read it to me. 473-0589-01. Okay, uh, now turn the dial until you get some feedback on valve A. Uh, and then tell me the number you see. Feedback triggered on 55. The numbers turn green. Okay, good. 55. Uh, according to the manual, valve B should be tuned to 28 degrees. Valve B to 28. Got it. Perfect. Okay, uh, last valve. One second, one second. There we go. Valve C should be set to 67. Valve C set. All numbers green. Awesome. Okay, uh, almost there. Now it says, depress the automatic confirmation mechanism. Uh, looking at the diagram here, it's a big round button. Should be obvious. All right. Big round button pressed. Yes! Okay, we're calibrated. Now you need to install this sucker into the pump. Uh, the pump, it's, uh, it's located outside of St. Vincent's Church. Beacon lights will be on to help find it, so that's good. Of course, uh, it'll probably attract walkers, so that sucks. Just be ready. The systems down here will... Let me know when you've installed the regulator. Oh, and uh, one more thing. A little tip that should make life a bit easier and scavenging more fruitful since, you know, we're colleagues now. <laughs> right? The tower has a radio station, number 47, that broadcasts any significant discoveries in the city and the current schedule for stirring the herd. Might be wise to tune in before heading out for the day. Privileged intel, so, you know, let's, uh, let's keep it between us. All right, gonna take a few moments to clear my head. I'll contact you. I need a second. Take care of your business. I'll wait. Let's continue. All right. Let's get back to it. All right. Gonna take a few moments to clear my head. I'll contact you when it's time for the next step. Good luck and thanks.
Hey, Casey. You there? Yeah. Always here. Always thinking. My mind is always swirling with something these days. It's impossible to shut it down. 
Doesn't make sense to get all worked up. If you want to survive, you need to focus. Steady your mind. Yeah, well, I guess. But, you know, hey, this morning I realized something. I can't even remember the last time I saw the sky. It's been a while, at least that much I know. Months. Wish I would have paid more attention. You ever been to the Badlands up in South Dakota? Rolled through there once. Spectacular, right? Like another planet. My mom used to drive me through there every summer on the way to see my uncle. The night sky was so bright. So many stars, like a dome overhead. Crystal clear view of the cosmos. That put a lot of things in perspective for me back when I really needed it. How insignificant we really are in the grand scheme of things. How my troubles, no matter how big they may seem, really don't mean squat. I mean, well, what are troubles anyway, huh? The universe doesn't know the meaning of the word. I wish I had that badland sky overhead right about now. You know, the first thing I'm gonna do when free is head back north. I think I've had enough of swamp life. Heading up north might not be in the cards. Safe routes don't exist. Hold that thought. I get it. Other stuff on your mind. You were saying? All right. I need a second. I get it. Other stuff on your mind. For a stroll? Get the hell out! Think it's wise to be wandering around? Walk Find away. somewhere else to be. We won't have a problem. This is our turn. Leave. Walk away. We won't have a problem. Out for a stroll? Find somewhere else. This is our turn. Leave.
I'm just, just gonna pick you.
on that reclaimed ritual. Nearly wretched when I stumbled on that reclaimed ritual. What was that? Think it's why. Hey. Oh, 
a stroll. here after all you've done You're like a fucking mosquito that just won't die Yeah. <laughs> 
You mentioned your mom and your uncle. Well, my uncle died a while ago. I miss him a ton. We were friends. I looked up to him. I never really knew my dad, so... Yeah, he kind of stepped in. When he could. My mom and I, uh, We didn't always get along. No clue what happened to my mom, actually. <laughs> When I left home and joined the guard, we weren't speaking, which... That's fine by me. She never thought too much of me. Didn't think I'd ever amount to anything. <laughs> the verdict is still out, I suppose. What happened to your dad? Huh. You know what a BDH is? What's a BDH? Broken down horse player. Dad bet his weekly check on the ponies. Like clockwork, I guess. Every Friday, right to the racetrack. And shortly after I was born, he... He disappeared. Trouble with a bookie. Dead. Just a chicken shit. <laughs> Who knows? Look, tourist, I, uh, I've had enough of the therapy session. I don't feel like talking anymore. I'm gonna go put my head down for a bit. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>